Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today, you guys, it is Sunday. It's about 1030 in the morning. So we are going to get the porch all decorated. In today's video, I'm going to be using a lot of the things that I already owned. I'm really going to be decorating some plants. I have several containers that I got. Some of them are brand new. Some of them I already had and I just made them over. So I want to create some shade containers for my front porch. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you some of the stuff that I did purchase. I did purchase a few things from Amazon to complete this look, but I also am utilizing a lot of my old planters that I already had. I just gave them like a good spray paint and then um, just refreshed them and that's it. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Trina. I share all things home decor plus some gardening. So if you like that content, I would love to have you stay and subscribe and become part of our decorating family. And to all of my beautiful subscribers, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for stopping by and watching another video. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you some of the products that I already purchased and then some of the stuff that I already had and then also I'll give you like a little mini tour of the plants that we're going to be using to create these shade containers as well so I did pick up a new welcome sign I got this one from Amazon it's really really pretty um, it's just a nice little welcome sign I love the black letter and the detail around it just says welcome I usually change these out every year um, because sometimes they kind of get little um, they tend to wear out over time. So I always replace mine like every um, every season. Not every season, probably about once a year, depending on what's going on. So I got this one. This one was really affordable from Amazon. Really cute find. These planters as well is from Amazon. These planters, you get a pair of two for $89, which I thought was a really good deal. They are, I believe, 21 inches tall. And then it does have a drain hole and everything in there for your plants. So but I would say when I did order it, one came damaged. So I had to return it and then I had to wait for my replacement one to come in the um, to be sent. So yeah, just keep that in mind because with the original one that they sent me, the side became real cracked. It was actually cracked all on the side. So I had to return it. But nonetheless, it's a really good quality planter. It is on the shinier side. So, which I, which is fine for my porch because it's pretty dark. I mean, like shaded over there anyway. So I don't mind that it has like a little bit of shine on there because I'm going to pair it with some older planters that I have that have like a matte background. I mean, a matte color to it. So I don't mind that it's shiny. They do come in other colors as well, but for $89 for two planters, y'all, I thought it was a really good deal. So I did, um, so I do love that. I did pick up these planters here from Amazon as well. These are super affordable and they are super cute. I thought they look so high end. These are some hanging baskets look like. It does have like a little drainage hole, I think at the bottom for the water, but really affordable, really cute. These are like, they look so high end. I think you get like two for 20 something dollars. It was really affordable y'all, really affordable. So I'm gonna put some, um, maybe some sweet, uh, I think I got some diamond frost euphorbia that I'm gonna put in here that I'm gonna hang in here that I think is gonna look really, really pretty. It does come with the chains on the uh, for the baskets which is a black chain which i thought was really sleek and then the best part that it came in a set of two it came with a pair of two for like 20 something dollars that was like a super good deal you guys so yes i can't wait to get these planted up and get these uh started so it can be draping and have some really pretty foliage and everything on there for spring so absolutely love that picked up I also picked up this welcome sign from Amazon. Isn't this cute? This is so cute, y'all. And this was like so affordable. I think it was like $9 or $8.99, I think it was. It looks really high end. Um, I like it because you can hang it. This is a hook on the back, so you can hang it like this. And then it also comes with a little string on it as well. I think it'd be really pretty if you change out the string and add some pretty black ribbon. I probably end up doing that on mine. So I think that'll look a little bit more um, aesthetically pleasing. But if none of that, you can still leave it and it still looks really good. So I love this sign. It looks so high end. So I love it. So as you can see from my front porch, I'm kind of going with the black and white thing. For my porch, my house is a... Um, is a light ivory color so my door is black so for my porch i'm wanting everything to be kind of be like black and white so that's what the color scheme i got going on for this year and this is what it's looking like so that is really cute i also like to layer in my welcome sign with my mat so i found this one on amazon this one is actually pretty large i think this one is a three by five but my porch is a pretty big um is a pretty big space so i think it'd be fine covering up my porch but i love this detail on it it's really really pretty it's super cute but it's i mean it's a long rug it's i mean it's pretty long so yeah but it'll work for my porch so that's fine and then i'm gonna put that mat that uh welcome sign in between it but i love the color on it now they did have these 
These are all this stuff came in different colors too. So if you don't want to do black and white, they actually have some other colorful colors as well. But the shade, so everything is covered. So I don't really have to worry too much about stuff getting wet. For the most part, my porch stays dry. These two planters that I'm gonna plant some plants in. I actually got these. These are my old planters that I had for many years. I got these from the at home store. All I did, they had like a originally had like a gray band around the top, and then the bottom was like white, but the white tend to fade it off after so many, you know, after so many years it kind of got faded and then I didn't wasn't in love with the gray and it band anymore on there so I just took some matte spray paint and then I just sprayed it out really really pretty I think I went over it like maybe twice because the band on it was kind of still dark so I went over it twice so yeah but it turned out really really pretty you guys okay you guys so, so let's go over the plants that we're going to be using in today's video so i have some of these really pretty wicked witch coleus this is a color blaze selection i absolutely love this plant it does it performs really well i also have some diamond snow euphorbia i also have a couple of these super tunia priscillas which i already have planted up in a planter in the full sun part of my front porch i'll share with that with you in a second has some verbena. And I also have these really pretty autumn ferns. These are gorgeous. And I'm gonna be using this spike. This is by Proven Winners. And then I also have this Eugenia Topiary ball that, I, that I'm gonna plant up in a container, more like in a full section part of my um, porch. And I'm gonna put some super tunias around that one as well. Then I also have some vanilla sky hydrangeas. Then I also have some ivy. So I'm gonna start by getting my door a wipe down. I did try to clean off my porch um, a few weeks ago. I did have it cleaned up, but sometimes this pollen just kind of gets everywhere. So I'm gonna wipe everything down. And then the wreath that I'm gonna be adding to my front door is a wreath that I had for many years. It is by Balsam Hill. It's just a hydrangea and berry wreath. I just love it because it's neutral and it screams spring. It just is really good. I love their product. So I'm gonna use my same wreath that I had last year. And then I'm gonna add in my little welcome sign that I showed you in the beginning of this video. So I decided to layer in this welcome signs inside my wreath. Now you can definitely hang it separate, but I decided just to layer mine in because it's small enough to kind of fit in between the wreath that I have. So, and I think it turned out really cute. So because I'm planting up all the planters first, I'm gonna get everything planted up and then we'll go ahead and style the porch at the end. That way I'm not getting everything all dirty. So I'm gonna start off by potting up my Vanilla Sky Hydrangeas. So Hydrangeas needs a lot of shade, and especially down here in Houston, it gets pretty hot. So I have a hard time getting these plants to actually survive in like my garden area. So I'm gonna give it a try here on my front porch, because like I said, my porch is pretty much shaded. It only gets a few hours of sun, you know, every day, I think in the evening time, really. So I think these are do really good. I have been trialing, out, trialing them on my front porch for a few weeks and they seem to have been holding up really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pot them up in these containers that I shared with y'all in the beginning of the video. And um, we'll see how they do. So if they don't do well, then I'm gonna have to try to move them to another spot. But nonetheless, I'm just gonna use some regular Miracle Gold uh, Performance Potting Mix. That's what I'm gonna be using to pot them up. And then for all of my containers, I always like to go in with a little biotone just to help to promote root growth of the plants.
So next we're gonna start on, on these larger planters that I got from Amazon. So I'm gonna be using the same potting mix. And I think for each container, I had to use like a bag and a half of this um, potting soil just to kind of fill it all the way up. Now I don't put anything at the bottom of my containers like plastic or anything. I just like just using the regular soils. I think it just promotes healthy plants by doing it that way. But you do whatever works for you. But that's what I'm using. I'm using a bag and a half of potting soil. And then I, for my con front porch like I said everything is shaded so I can't really grow a lot of um, blooming flowers on my porch so I'm gonna be using a lot of foliage and things like that to kind of bring in that pop of color So for this larger shade container, we're gonna be using a different varieties of plants to create a look. So we're gonna start off with this first plant. This is Spike by Proven Winners. This is an ornamental grass, but I'm just using it for some texture. So I know that the other plants that I'm adding in here is gonna probably overpower this. We'll see how big it gets, but this is my first time growing this one. So, but I'm really just added in for a little bit of texture. So next for a pop of color, I'm gonna add in this Wicked Witch Coleus. This is like one of my favorite coleus. It performs well. It can take full sun or shade. And I think the more you have it in the full sun, the bigger it gets. Because ask me how I know, this thing got huge when I had it in my backyard a few years ago when I had it in full sun. So I'm gonna add in this autumn fern. This one is really pretty because it's green and then it also has a coppery color to it as well. So again, bringing in those colors with the foliage instead of just having everything, you know, bringing in color with the blooms. Since we're dealing with a lot of shade on the porch, I think these work really well together. So the coleus is give like a big um, mounding kind of effect and then the fern to kind of add a different texture. And then I have this ivy here, which is gonna actually give a trailing effect. So it's gonna trail down. And then also I'm gonna pop in, I didn't share with y'all in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna add in some um, shade uh, impatience because I did add in some impatience through my main flower bed to the left of us. So I'm gonna add in a little pop of those and those are white. So it add in a little bit of pop of uh, white to the container as well. So now that I have all the plants planted, I'm just gonna take some additional soil and backfill all around the plants, making sure that you have all of the roots completely covered. So that's what you see me doing here. So especially when you add a lot of plants in here like this, you just wanna make sure you have all of the roots um, covered completely. So we have our first container finished, so let's go ahead and plant up the second one. And we're gonna be doing the same uh, concept and using the same plants for the second one so that way they'll be uh, sisters and right next to each other.
Okay, so now I'm gonna plant up these hanging baskets that I also got from Amazon. So I'm using the same potting soil, it's still adding in my biotone. So for these containers, I'm gonna add in the Diamond Snow Euphorbia because these will give like a mounding effect. And then I'm also gonna plant around it some of the petunias. Now the petunias that I'm using um, is, I think it's called the Wave Variety. I think you get a pack of like maybe six or eight for like $12 is what I'm adding on there. So it looks small now, but these are gonna grow huge and big and fill in uh, fill out these containers really nicely. So the Supertunia Priscilla's that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video, I decided to add it to these little flower pots here. But please excuse my shadow, the sun is starting to come out, but these are what they're gonna look like in a few weeks. Right now they are still small, but they're gonna fill in this container really nicely. So this plant needs full sun, so that's why I have it tucked away over here, kind of like in the, you know, outside of my porch, that way to get a necessary, um, all of the sun that it needs. I'm just dead hitting some of these spent blooms on here. And then this is the hanging basket that we just put together. I put the petunia waves and then the euphorbia in there. And then these are the hydrangeas that I potted up. They turned out really nicely. I'm just trying to give you guys a close up of the flowers and everything that we just planted so you can kind of see what the containers look like up close. So this is the shade container that we created with the fern and the coleus and the ivy. And then in the spikes, these are small now, but like I said, give them a few weeks. They're going to fill in really nicely and be bursting with color. So this is my Eugenia Topiary. I did um, plant this up off camera, but I did add those super tunias. Well, not super tunias. Those are regular petunias. And then also I have another super tunia Priscilla here as well. So these, kind of, these two that's on the front are kind of off to the side so that they could get some full sun. So I'm just gonna take my blower and clean off my porch. This is why I wanted to go ahead and pot everything up um, before I style the porch because I tend to get the soil and dirt and everything all over the place. So I'm just gonna blow the porch off and then we'll begin to style the porch. I do wanna mention that I did water in all those containers before I brought them back to the porch. So, and actually those containers, cause they're kind of like made of a plastic material. They're very lightweight and easy to move. Even when I watered them in, they're not heavy at all. So just to be clear, I did water everything in. I just didn't show it on camera. Okay, you guys, so we're going to continue on with the video. I'm going to go ahead and start by layering in my rug. So this rug is a three by five. Like I said, I do love the color pattern on here. I don't necessarily think this rug is outdoor. I think it did say outdoor on the caption, but now feeling it, the texture of it and everything like that, I definitely don't think it's really an outdoor rug. But nonetheless, I'm not worried about it getting too dirty or either or either um wet from the rain because my porch stays covered this side usually stays pretty dry but if it does get um wet or dirty i'll just pop it in the washing machine and wash it but definitely read the caption if you decide to purchase this rug i always like to layer in a welcome mat on top of my rug i think it just gives it a really nice curated look and i always like to have my rug as an oversized rug because the mats tend to be on the smaller side so now I'm gonna go ahead and start placing our planters in place. So I have my two larger planters that I'm gonna put side by side first. So to keep my planters from getting the water and dirt and everything all over my porch when I water them, I'm gonna use these clear uh, pot holders. These are just some clear discs that you can get from Amazon or either Home Depot. You just set your planter on top of it and basically it keeps the water from draining all over your floor, all over, all, all over your porch. So I'm gonna put these underneath here just to kind of keep everything clean because sometimes those planters does tend to stain your porch and everything if you don't put anything underneath it.
Hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, please give my video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel a lot. I finally got to doing my front porch. So I'm so excited to have this porch cleaned up and refreshed and have everything looking nice for spring. So please stay tuned because we are going to be working in the backyard soon. I am going to be cleaning off my patio and putting out some new rugs and pillow covers and stuff out there. Then also I'm going to re be redoing my um, raised bed area as well. So definitely stay tuned for those videos. So that is it you guys. I love how these containers have turned out. I did go ahead and hang up the hanging baskets up here as you can see. So I'll definitely give you guys an update in a few weeks and show you how everything is growing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. We're also going to be redoing my back patio and all of that good stuff. So yes, yeah, so I really love how everything has turned out you guys. Thank you all for all your love and support and comments on all of my videos. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.